May 30 Mother's Day. The police and the paramilitary AK-47 pa, 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 shooting the people. I said, stay down. And you heard the pa, 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 pa. Federico Aguado Matus filmed this video on Mother's Day 2018 in Nicaragua, at least 16 dead. One of the bloodiest moments in a year that saw over 300 people killed and hundreds jailed for protesting repression by government forces. State-backed persecution and fear forced many to flee the country, some to Canada. They would call me for an unknown number and hanging up. We know where you live, we're gonna kill you. Like neurosurgeon Haido Gutierrez, his crime providing medical care to government opponents. Mm -hmm. I remember that the, the first punch they gave me, they broke my glasses. Back. One day stalked and assaulted by two men. And I was bleeding so bad. Many of the people... He knew he had to leave. I lost everything. All my hard work, everything, everything, everything. 18 years a surgeon, healing brains and spines, he now works as a custodian in Montreal after crossing into Canada through Roxham Road last March. Look at this, the people in the street, dead. Fear also drove Aguado Matus to cross Roxham Road in September 2018. He abandoned everything he owned, a hotel, rental properties, a vegetable farm. Many died believing this dream. That's what hurts the most. Young people my age, my friends, one whose name is on a street in my neighborhood, this friend gave his life believing in a dream we all had. Aguado Matus once fought for that dream. He joined the military to defend his country, inspired by the revolution once led by Daniel Ortega. But time changed everything. Ortega, now president, is crushing dissent and jailing opponents. So many young people is losing their life. I don't understand what happened for humanity. I don't understand what to do with other people, you know? No, really, I don't understand. I'm sorry. This month, Ortega suddenly kicked 222 opponents out of the country, sent them to the U.S., and stripped them of their citizenship. Like most Nicaraguans, I was a really young guy when I joined the struggle, thinking the revolution would change things for the better. Manuel de Jesus Sobalvaro Bravo is one of the 222 sent to the U.S. He was part of the Nicaraguan military for over a decade. Forced from his country last week, he's now looking to Canada, which once welcomed Nicaraguan refugees. In the 1980s, Canada opened its doors. I make a call to the Canadian authorities that you open your doors again. Please open the doors so we have this option. Gutierrez, Aguado Matus, and other Nicaraguans in Canada recently asked the federal Liberal government in letters to provide permanent status for some of the 222 and their families. I think there are special civil stations, and this is one of them. The Office of Immigration Minister Sean Frazier told CBC News it could not comment on specific immigration cases due to privacy concerns. Gutierrez says he still loves Nicaragua. If the government of Canada be able, like, a pathway, an organized pathway for these people, these people and their families, because they're not alone. His birthplace, career, now ripped away, he waits on Canada to formally take in others, made stateless and exiled by the same Sandinista regime.